Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Last episode, we fought Kyogre, we dominated, and today, I don't know what we're going to do, I actually want to have a look around here. I know there's some more dungeons for us to complete, but I don't know what we're going to do when we get there. To start with, I actually want to... Uh, how far away is Dako from actually ever, ever evolving? Because remember, we did find out that... Um, 7,000 off, so it probably won't evolve this episode. Tapers, though. Tapers can't see here is final evolution now, which is always a good thing. Uh, I did some research off-screen, by the way, into the next dungeon stuff, and I think we're just going to wait for, um... Okay, join the team, and I want him to be the Mega Leader. Uh, I did some research, and it turns out that I think... I could be wrong here. We need to befriend legendaries, and we need to... And we need to wait for a letter to come through. And to be honest, I don't think we're prepared to actually... Le uh, to, to refight legendaries, to actually befriend them. We're probably going to try that today, though. Don't, don't get me wrong, we probably will... Oh, we could, oh, balls, I've still got Dak on my team, haven't I? Okay, let's do this again now. So I do think we are ready to actually refire the legendaries, but I don't think we're going to be able to win them. And that's the thing what really happens. But anyways, let's seek a new evolution. Do you want to give an item for evolution? No. You seek's awakening, let's begin. Tapers is undergoing changes. Tapers' appearance has changed. Tapers has evolved into Ty Explosion. You shall return if the evolution is what you seek. So if you don't know, Ty Explosion is the final evolution for Tapers. I've go in here now. A voice emanates from somewhere. You seek's awakening. This is a luminous cave. Ye seeks a new evolution, yes, give an iron for evolution, no. Let, let's begin. You can't evolve anymore. Yeah, I shall return if evolution is what you seek. So yeah, sadly, Daco can't, uh, not Daco, Tapers can't evolve anymore now, so he's literally in his final evolution. T to be honest, I don't know if we're going to stick with Tapers, because uh, I, since I did some research and you can befriend legendaries, I do think I'm going I'm to befriend legendaries. I, I, I don't know why, it just seems like a core cool concept, like, oh yeah, you can get X legendary on your team and stuff. I don't know if, like, I don't know if the legendaries are going to be easy to kill or not. I, I hope they're not. I hope they're kind of scaled with us. So, like, now that we're, like, a high level, they will be a high level. Because I want to go after the legendary birds first. I want to get Scyther here, so let's go into the Overgrown Forest. And uh, I do actually want to befriend as many legends as I can. And to be honest, I probably will be saving before we actually go into the fight in that regard. Because from what I noticed, there is a 25% chance, or is it 30%, something like that. To actually befriend um, certain Pokemon. So we're going to be heading to Mount Thunder first. That's where we're going to be finding the first legendary of the today. Which I'm really curious, can we befriend him? And I know it's kind of like a shot in the dark. But I'm really curious, can we do it? As you can see, oh, I, I kind of wish I didn't bring Cy uh, Cypher here to be honest. Now, because I'm pretty sure you need two or less Pokemon. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to quickly... I'm going to see you guys in a second actually. I'm going to quickly tab out and come back when I'm on my own. Uh, well, which means Tapers. Oh, I can farewell him, okay. We'll be sent back... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So I just did some research and you can test any back screen now, which just does too, which is fine, it's fine. Uh, if you're wondering why I did actually bring um, good old uh, Ty Explosion with me, I can I can normally handle these guys myself pretty easily, as you can see we're one-shot And these guys are going to give, like, no experience. No, I don't want to have a light attack. I want Zapdos. Zapdos. T to be honest, I could easily speed this up, but I kind of want to show how um, how this area works, by the way. Tapers, man. That Oh my god, he's wrecking him. He's literally just threw a rock over the wall. I didn't even know you could do that. Tapers, man, you are a god. Okay, I'm guessing we could just probably hit him with like a normal attack here. Oh, and Tapers is getting the snipe shot on him. Uh, to, to be honest, this dungeon is going to give us like no experience, but it's more of a, a learning curve here. I want to see what I can learn. So, so yeah. Uh, so today I've actually been all around stuff. Uh, in the UK right now, there's actually a big promotion going on at McDonald's around Pokemon, which is, I think it's crazy, like two of the biggest monopolies in the... Oh god, more Pokemon here, it's fine. It's not, it's not like these guys are going to live anyway. Um, and the fact that Pokemon nowadays is actually uh, in McDonald's, so you can get by and have meals. So what I've been doing the last few times, I've been to McDonald's, which is surprisingly quite frequently. I, I go to McDonald's, oh my god, how many Pokemon is there here? Uh, I'm actually just getting a, um, a Pokemon Happy Meal, and, and well, I'm normally getting two or three, because like, a one Happy Meal doesn't really fill me as much as, because uh, I normally get large meals and stuff, so uh, I've been getting that quite a bit. And if you don't know, in the UK, large meals... Uh, only a medium in America, and then small meals are like an extra small in America. I don't know how the sizes work differently, but that's how they do work. So I've been actually having two small McDonald's meals just to get some Pokemon toys. And if you don't know, I've, I've actually got quite a few. I've got Celio, I've got uh, Squirtle, and I've got Torchic so far. Uh, how they're doing it is it's a bit different to normal promotions like in, in, in McDonald's. Each week there's going to be four Pokemon you can get. So for example, um, we can't get Charmander this week. I'll be like next week or something. I really like the idea. It does incentivize pe people going back to McDonald's. And I think it's a really good promotion because, to be honest, Pokemon is just sweet. I love Pokemon. And uh, it is probably one of my favorite favorite franchises out there. And I'm glad, like, 
Pokemon's become a lot more... Like back in the day, Pokemon was more, oh, you like Pokemon, oh, you like Pokemon type thing. And now it's it's not a bad thing to like Pokemon. It's, it's more of just a, oh, you like Pokemon, cool, so do I type thing. And I remember when I first started this channel also many years ago, I, I used to get um, a lot of people at school used to be like, you play Pokemon on the internet, what the hell? And now I look back, I'm just thinking, it's a game after all, it's, there's nothing really bad about it. And it's crazy how perceptions have changed that much, because when I started YouTube, uh, gaming wasn't a big thing on YouTube, and, and people were very anti-gaming, like, if you played games on your channel, like, people would be like, oh my god, you're a nerd, and now it's, like, it's, it's a lot more different, which is which is a good thing, isn't it? By the way, special ban there. Yeah, if you're wondering, I'm not really picking up any items, because we don't really need them. Nope, we don't really need them. Uh, I'm just making my way around the dungeon. To be honest, these guys are going to give really poor experience anyway. Uh, I did do some research in how to befriend Pokemon, by the way. Uh, how we befriend them, we have to be right next to the Pokemon when we kill them, so we can't use any ranged weapons. And I have to be on my own. Uh, by that, I mean I have to del like deliver the final blow myself. Which is good, because I'm a, I'm a Blastoise. Uh, I'm a, a Warsaw Slaven, and I've got Protect, alright? And Protect does a lot of Well, it's such a good move. So what I'm going to probably do when we get up top... Is I'm probably going to dismiss um, Tysplosion here, and I'm just going to handle it myself. And it's one of those things like like Tysplosion won't get the experience sadly, but I want to make sure that he doesn't actually give the final hit. Uh, I will be saving before we actually get to the final floor just to make sure that we don't die, because if we do die against him, that's going to suck, isn't it? By the way, where is this last bloody exit? Uh, is it down here? Uh, nope. Okay, there it is. There it is. So another thing I want to talk about whilst I'm here. I go into a lot of um, charity shops, I know it sounds a bit weird, but like, I'm one of those, I, I collect rare games, rare old games, like game, well, games are not even that old, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, stuff like that, games which I didn't get to play as a kid, and I went into a charity shop today, and uh, if you don't know, I'm really into the Ratchet & Clank series, I've played the majority of the games on my channel, and I saw the original 1 and 2, alright, if you don't know, I do own the 1 and, the one and 2, but mine are really scratched because I didn't play them that much as a kid, uh, I actually found a... It wasn't new, but it was used, but really well maintained. Ratchet Clank 1 and 2, so I went and bought that. And actually got both the games for 2 quid, when it's normally $15 used. Um, or, well, I paid $6, if you look at exchange rates, which, which is a really good price for for that. And it's one of those things, there's a big stigma about going into... Um, a big stigma about going into charity shops. Because like, people think, oh, you're going to charity shops, wow, what were you doing? And then... I get really good deals like that, especially like when you're collecting collectible games. Like I'm really into like getting a good deal. It's like with the Steam sales and stuff. A lot of the games I'm going to play over the next year, I buy in the Steam sales just because like I know I'm going to be playing them. You know, I, I kind of like I really value money a lot different to other people. Like yeah, I do own a lot of Bitcoin. I do own a lot of that other stuff. But yeah, it's pretty cool. By the way, we are actually getting, getting closer to the top floor. I'm pretty sure in this dungeon it is floor 25. Um, so that that'll be cool. Eh? Oh, raw, get lost, get lost, Growlithe, one shot. I don't like how powerful we actually are, by the way. Um, apple went flying. Oh, good old Tapers give me an apple. My god, Tapers, you are a boss, man. Oh my god, I love Tapers, man. He's such a good guy. Like, he always hooks, up with, hooks me up with stuff. I'm just gonna need a grass gummy. Uh, I got self. What the hell is self cura? Check tactics. What does that do? Uh, I, should, I should actually probably put these on, but um, let's see, two info. It recovers faster than. Oh, yeah, we're having that on. Bloody hell. Put that on. Dedicated Traveler. Um, I'm focused on traveling, it'll use moves and items less often. Um, okay, fine with me. Uh, oh my god, that's a good one. Non traitor. If it becomes confused or cowling, the Pokemon wildly thrown in attacks will not hit friends. Okay, we're putting that one. Why have I not checked these already? Like, I'm going to check them for both of our teammates here because they are pretty cool, aren't they? Okay, here you go, Sars Checker. So that's that's a good one, but I don't really see the point in it. Um, when battling several foes, Pokemon will sight the one with the lowest HP first. Yeah, it's fine. Let's look at Tapers now, then. Okay, I've turned off Dedicated Traveler and put Efficiency Expert on him. But either way, look, look those tactics. Why have I never checked them before? Because those tactics are really cool, like... The fact that I can now heal up, um... I can now heal up my PP. Uh, not my PP, my status elements a bit faster. Does make a massive difference, especially in dungeons. I'm kind of glad I actually noticed that. I'm a bit disappointed I didn't notice it earlier, to be honest. I know it's been there, but I just never really spent time looking into it. It's one thing I love about playing games on my channel. I do learn stuff whilst I'm playing them. Just uh, from you guys in the comments and just me playing the game generally. It, it, it's a big change. It really is. By the way, let's actually head down to the next floor. Boom, bam. Let's continue on. Okay, halfway mark. So I'm actually going to do a little save here, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, let's continue on. Yeah, I would like to go on. I'm actually going to disband me and Tapers on floor two here. 
which is right over here. I'm gonna let Tapers handle him. Like, like I said, I wanna be able to take on Zapdos myself. I don't want Tapers to actually be there, so I'm gonna say farewell to him now. I know, I know it's a bit mean, but I w I'm gonna say farewell to him. We'll, we'll pick him up later on anyway. Send Tapers back. Yep. Goodbye, Tapers. We'll see. We'll see him again soon. Don't worry. We'll see him in the next episode. It's just right now. I just wanna make sure I can actually take on these um, these legendary birds. I think I'm gonna do one per episode, to be honest, because I feel like it's gonna make it a bit different. Okay, let's actually head to the peak, and this is where Zapdos should be. I'm hoping. Is he? Gawu! Okay, he is back. He is back. So you're back. Since we last met, how much more have you furthered your team? How much stronger? Your power demonstrated to me. Okay. So, of course, guess what we're going to start off with? We're going to start off with good old uh, Protect, because <laughs> it is the overpowered move that it is Protect. Agility is fine. Um, to be honest, I'm pretty sure Protect still works the exact same. So the more agility he uses, it's not really going to make that much of a difference. Like, as you can see... I'm pretty sure it works by our time frame and not his. So as long as we've got our protect up here, we'll be fine. Yeah, as you can see, it works by our movesets and not his. So until my protect ends, he won't be able to do damage to me, which is always a good thing. It is pretty it's pretty overpowered if you think about it, isn't it? By the way, we'll just another protect here just because... Like, oh, I missed! Okay, that, this is not good. This is not good. Um, okay. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to press protect. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, I killed him. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to restart and actually fight him again. So we are now back at the peak to try this again. To be honest, I don't know if we're going to have really bad luck here, but this is why I did say before I actually went up here, just to make sure that we can live on, I guess. Um, I know it's like 1 in 25 chance or something that we're going to get him. And it is kind of a lot, but like, it, it's a lot better than actually trying to capture him normal. Because if, if you guys know how annoying it is to capture a legendary normally, it, it just, it's unbearable. It really is. So uh, we just have to keep attacking and we have to be able to catch capture cap this guy ourselves. Uh, I just want to have the legendary birds because why not, you know? How often do you actually get to have a legendary bird in your team? Not that often. Okay, just keep attacking. We are doing a lot of damage to him. I'm pretty sure he's got the ability pressure and we kill them again. Great. Third time's the charm, eh? Let's try this again. <laughs> Kawu. Okay, okay. I don't know how long it's going to take, but you know, it could take a while. You're much stronger. Your power will demonstrate for me. Okay, I will do. I will do. So I don't know how often it's going to take. And so this is attempt number three. So it normally happens one in four. So if we get, like, in 1 in 5, that's really bad odds. But, you know, I, I've got a good feeling that we can do it by fall then. Okay, let's keep going for Watergun here. I believe in us. I, I believe in our ability. I really do. Flood, flood Thunder Shock. I'm amazed how powerful Protect is. I'm kind of glad I never replaced it because it is such a good move. You don't really realize how powerful it actually is. Okay, attack him again. And uh, we killed him again. Great. Okay, so we're back here again for number 4. And to be honest, I didn't realize Zapdos had Detect. That, like, I'm not gonna lie, Daptus is gonna be a very good Pokemon to have. By the way, my Protect just wore off. I'm guessing it works by a random number between 2 and 5. And, uh, okay, now you're gonna get wrecked here. I'm just gonna keep buying you. I don't know how this is gonna work because I did save state at, at, on floor 3, okay? And I don't know if it's predetermined like the entire dungeon is when you refresh it. So I don't know if, um, that, the reason that we keep playing this now... Oh god, okay, this is not good. Uh, okay, Thunder Wave isn't too bad, especially when he misses, that's uh, always a good thing. Okay, let's go for another Protect here. Oh, I'm, I'm missing a lot of my Protect here, let's just go for another buy here. It's, I, think, I think I've got this in the bag now, anyway. The Thunder Shock shouldn't kill us, let's go for another one here, I believe in you. Yeah, he doesn't join me again, okay, that's four. I'm gonna keep going until eight, and then I'm gonna restart the dungeon, and just go from there. It's one of those things, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I have a lot of bad luck with fighting Legendaries and capturing Legendaries, so I feel like it's gonna be the exact same, I'm gonna have a lot of problems here. And we just killed him again. Like, I don't know why I'm sucking so bad at this. So yeah, like, I don't know why, but whenever I fight a legendary, whether it be in a mainstream game or a spin-off like this, I always seem to struggle to capture legendaries, and I don't know why. I, I just do. And I feel like it's going to be definitely apparent in this game. I've got a good feeling that I'm going to just get stuck here constantly, just keep buying him. Yeah, like, I don't know why, but I keep beating him. <laughs> well, I do know why, because I'm strong, but you know what I mean? Okay, so number seven is on its way here. Attempt number seven. I'm sure it was like really, really good odds. And the form I'm having now is just ridiculous. I might actually research this if I fail it again this time to see what the odds are. Because I'll, I'll just kill them again. God damn it. So I have just research and it is 30% chance of actually recruiting Zabdos in the actual dungeon, which to be honest, I'm just having really bad luck then, aren't I? Um, what I'm probably going to do is after this one, I'm just going to play out the next day, I guess, and then I'll, I'll meet you guys back up top. Because I don't know if, if it's something the way I save, because I use a save state, and I didn't actually save it with the in-game system. I just use my own system, my like PC, to actually do it. So I'm, 
I'm wondering if that's going to affect it. I don't think it will, but it might do. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to pop out and check that in a second. If I do, if I don't befriend him now. Because I feel like it might just be predetermined, I guess. Uh, which is fine. If that's the case, that's the case. It's fine. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm just going to play out the next day. And uh, and see what's going to happen. So I'll meet you guys back up there in a minute. Because I don't want to have to keep retrying in case there's an error or something with it. So, um, yeah, we're just going to head straight back there. It's just going to be me. Get some more experience for myself, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'll meet you guys back up on the top of um, Mount Thunder. So, yeah. And so we have arrived at the halfway mark. So I'm actually going to save up here. I don't know whether I can get it all done. But I'm hoping, like, we can just restart here. And I hope it isn't a bug now with my whole saving mechanics. I've kind of changed it a bit. I've actually done some more research into Zabdos. And you can actually capture these Pokemon until after you beat Requaza. Which we have beaten Requaza. We already know we have. You guys know I have. You see me being him. So that's the only thing with this dungeon. Like, if you're going to replay it, you have to beat Requaza anyway. But I am pretty sure um, Zapdos won't respawn until you beat until you beat him. So I'm pretty sure like every other time we've actually gone back into this dungeon or Mount Blaze or whatever, the legendary bird hasn't been there just because they, they don't respawn until after you beat Requaza. And I'm pretty sure every time we actually come back through this dungeon now, like, he will be there, unless we befriend him, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's right. Or maybe when we do befriend him, there will still be another one here. That, that, that would be pretty cool if that was the case. Uh, but either way, Zapdos, a fantastic Pokemon. I do think it's my favourite of the legendary birds, in my opinion, by the way, Gliger. No, you're not going to join me. There is an item which I have done some research into, which I'll probably get in the next episode, which is called the Friend Bow, bow Friend Bow, something like that, where it's a... Um, it's an item which you attach to a Pokemon such as the leader. Well, it would always be the leader because he's the one who has to do the final kill. And what happens is you go into a, to a dungeon and when this guy fights him, I'm pretty sure he gets 10% chance extra that you're going to befriend that Pokemon. So that, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So it just makes it a bit more a bit more cool to actually go and actually go out your way to actually fight someone. I like that. I like that. Anyways, it's time to fight good old uh, Zapdos. So we're going to go for a good old Protect as per usual. Oh, okay. Oh, no. We'll, we'll, we'll miss that too. To be honest, Protect is probably one of the best moves in this game. Um, it's one of those things, like, I can't believe, like, I never really used it in any of my other playthroughs. You know, my other playthroughs where I couldn't beat the game, because it is such a cool thing, by the way. I didn't mean to press that. I wanted to actually go to moves and actually go into Water Gun here. It is such a powerful move. It is it's ridiculous how good it is. Let's hope we can befriend Zapdos here. Nope, okay. I really can't tell if we're actually getting really bad luck on this, or is it just not recruitable right now? It's got to be recruitable, hasn't he? He has to be, because I've been with Quaza and I've met all the things. So it, it has to be, um, it has to be a thing. Like, it, like th there has to be a way to, to do it. And it turns out, depending on what level your team are, the higher chance of bonuses you actually get, of, well, a recruitment bonus. For example, we're in the bracket of 30 to 29, uh, 30 to 39 right now, so we get to get 5% increase. So it should be, we, we should have a, a decent amount of chance to actually get Zapdos here, so... I don't understand why we're getting so bad, like, so unlucky with it. You know what I mean? We are getting really unlucky. So I've done some more research into the actual, like, capturing of legendaries. Your IQ needs to be a 3 star, which mine actually is. And, and yeah, that's the only really big requirement here, which I don't understand why I can't actually capture the legendaries, because I've, I've gone through this dungeon quite a few times. I can't say if I'm getting really bad, like, really unlucky, or am I doing something wrong? Um, we well, need to have a three-star IQ, which is fine, because, like, Daco obviously is, and he's going to be our main, like, capturer. Capturer. Is that, is that, is that the right word? He's going to be the one capturing all the Pokemon, because he is, he is the strongest Pokemon on my team. Well, he is me, isn't he? He is ridiculously powerful. Uh, but other than that, I don't know how I'm going to, how I'm meant to do everything else, because, yeah... I, I, I just can't say if I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I've never actually befriended a legendary before, by the way. Like I mentioned, I've never actually beaten this game until I played through the game recently on my channel. So, hmm, I just don't know what to expect now that um, I've got everything done. Like, this is going to be like my 15th attempt at actually trying to capture Zapdos. And I don't know if I'm getting really bad luck, which could definitely be the case. But, yeah, I just don't know. I really don't know. It's, it's kind of a bit annoying, to be honest.
Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Zapdos wants to join my team. Okay, I just mentioned that in the last episode, but now we actually got Zapdos. So Zapdos is level 45 when he joins you, and uh, we're going to just name, we're gonna name him Zapdos. Yeah, so we've actually got a new Pokemon on our team. And that does mean we've actually got our first legendary here. Okay, so it looks like it was just bad luck. <laughs> I got really bad luck. It took me 15 tries, which is fine. It's fine. I do think next time we're going to go and do it a bit different. I think next episode we're going to go and actually... We're going to go after the monsters, but before we do that, we're going to actually go and dive back into um, getting something called the friend bow. I think that's what we're going to do next episode. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give a like. I really appreciate it. This episode we actually caught a Zapdos. It took me a lot of time and a lot of complaining, but we got it done. Anyways, I shall see you guys later. Take care and peace.